Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I'm gonna to make something called a sauce and cake, or Jules and I call it a sauce and cake. Um, most people would probably call it a pudding cake and it's going to be lemon flavored. First thing I need to do is cream the butter. And once the butter is softened, I wanna add in about three quarters of the sugar that I've measured out. Um, we wanna save some of the sugar for another operation later. So I just wanna cream this in until it's fairly nice and smooth. Now, we call it a sauce and cake, other people call it a pudding cake, and that is because there's a layer of cake at the top that's really nice and soft, and then underneath, there's this ooey gooey pudding kind of sauce. But everything gets mixed together and thrown into the pan at the same time. It separates during cooking, which, um, you know, makes it a little bit weird, but it's so tasty. Okay, now I need to separate these eggs. And the whites go into this bowl. And the yolks go in with the butter mixture. Now we just beat those in. Now I need to zest in this lemon. Okay, save the lemon because we're gonna need the juice. Now we'll just mix this in. And we're done with the mixer for this part. So I have salt and flour here, and you don't really have to mix it together. Just put it all in, and we're gonna start stirring from this point. So, rubber spatula. Now we need to juice this lemon. So, the story of my love of this cake comes from 30 years ago. 30 years ago, Jules and I uh, worked for pulp and paper companies in Northern Ontario. And we lived in towns like Long Lac and Nikina. Uh, and for a while we lived farther out in bush camps up close to the Ogoki. And uh, 30 years ago, these towns were pretty small, pretty small. I'm pretty sure they're pretty small still. And um, you didn't have a whole lot of choice in groceries, especially not in Nikina. And so one day we found on the on the shelves, this box cake, it was called sauce and cake. And we laughed and we took it back to the company apartment and we made it and we absolutely loved it. Um, in spite of what it was, it was just fantastic. And so ever since then, I have searched for the recipes where we could make this at home from scratch rather than from a box. Uh, nothing wrong with the boxed version. The boxed version holds a special place in my heart. Um, as bad as it is, I absolutely love it. it kind of ranks up there with hot dog soup almost. So, um, and the hot dog soup recipe is, I will link to it somewhere around us. So, the juice from one lemon, and I'm gonna put that in. Oh, and I got some of the pips in. I'll pull those out before we stir. Next in is some milk. Okay, so, cup of milk. And all the milk goes in, and then we just slowly mix this together to incorporate it all. And the milk and the lemon juice are going to come together and they're going to curdle, which is totally part of this recipe. You want that to happen. I can see that happening right now. It's changed color and it's gotten thicker. Beautiful. Exactly what we want. Okay, now we need to beat these egg whites. So I have a clean set of beaters for the hand mixer. And we just start off slow, crank up the speed, and once we reach a certain point, we start to pour in this sugar that I reserved from the first part. Once it's frothy, the sugar, just a little bit at a time. Okay, so the whites are smooth, glossy, and they stand out like that. Hmm. 
perfect. So we're done with that. Oh. Now, we need to fold the egg whites into the batter mixture. And the first third of the egg whites, you don't need to fold in. You can mix them in and you can be quite savage with the way you mix them in. Uh, you don't need to be gentle at all. It's going to lighten the batter to make it easier to fold in the rest of the whites. So, away we go. And now we fold uh, the next third. And this part, you should be fairly gentle. Okay, it's all folded in. The batter looks amazing. It's kind of, it's light and fluffy, fantastic. So here I have a ceramic baking dish, eight by eight. And we're just gonna pour this in. I've greased the inside with butter. Uh, so it's all ready and nothing should stick, hopefully. There we go. The oven is preheated as well. So I'm just gonna pop this in and as it bakes, It'll separate into two layers. Now this whole thing goes into a bain-marie, which is just a fancy way of saying a hot water bath. No big deal. It just keeps it from cooking too quickly. And into the oven. Glenn, you've made a cake, but you have a spoons. Well, let's see what happens. Open it up. Oh, you're not sure. Well, let's see if I let's see if I got it right. What does right mean, I wonder? Oh, it's very custardy. Oh, it is custardy, isn't it? Look at that. That's pretty. So, is it made with corn flour? Nope. It is. No? It's okay. flour and lemon, and it it and be. Oh. <laughs> I thought this would be saucier than it is custardy. I thought it was going to be a sauce and cake, but it is more of a pudding cake. I like but I think, cake. <laughs> I think both those cakes are adjacent, depending on how long you cook it. Maybe if I'd cooked it less. Mm. So one, it's very tasty. Two, mm. I wonder if that's like a molten cake. Yeah. You, the, you just, it's just not cooked cake in the middle. It's just a brownie that you haven't finished cooking. Yeah. That's the, and, and you can charge double for. <laughs> yeah. You do have to get it just right, otherwise you, what you get is cake. Yes. Yeah. But this uh, is really tasty. It's very creamy, very lemony. It's very light, isn't it? It mm -hmm. almost, it almost just melts in your mouth. You could complement it with like uh, any kind of a sweet berry because it would cut that sweetness of the berries. So it would go really well mm -hmm. together. <laughs> you could also put whipped oh cream my. on it. <laughs> this, this is. This is pretty tasty. This is amazing. This one gets a big thumbs up, apparently. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. All right then. I was going to say you could dress it up with some powdered sugar on top, but obviously no. it doesn't need it. No. 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 Okay. It's definitely super lemony. I like it. Okay, so I implore you, please make this. There you make go. This, make this. <laughs> Let and, us know how it goes. And if you don't like lemon. Lime, orange. Lime, orange. Uh, yeah. Citrus. Any Throw kind of citrus. citrus you like. I'm Thanks sure it'll for, work. Yeah, it will. <laughs> it'll definitely work. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.